reportedly asked by a reporter about his relationship with Tiger Woods at an awards dinner. The reporter asked, would you have Woods over for dinner one night during next month's U.S. Open? He responded by saying, quote, we will have him around every night. We will serve fried chicken. Well, Tiger responded on Twitter. The comment that was made wasn't silly. It was wrong, hurtful, and clearly inappropriate. I'm confident that there is real regret the remark was made. Meanwhile, this morning, Garcia spoke uh, at a press conference to issue a public apology. Let's listen. I want to apologize to, to Tiger and uh, anybody that I could have offended by, by the comment I made. And, you know, just say that, um, you know, I feel sick about it. Uh, I'm, I'm truly, truly sorry. And, you know, I hope that, uh, you know, we can kind of settle things down and, and hopefully move on. Move on is the uh, key there, moving on. Meanwhile, we're putting Sergio Garcia on the hook. Stephen A., I'll start with you first. Do you believe Sergio's apology? Uh, no, I do not. I don't believe him because it was aimed at Tiger. Now, let me be very, very clear about what I'm about to say because I think it's incredibly important that I say this. Um, I think that Sergio Garcia made a racist statement, but that doesn't mean that he is a racist. I don't know him to be that. Um, there's no data on him. It's not like you're talking about the KKK or some racist organization where there's actual data to prove, you know, what they stand for, who they are, what they are about. Um, I don't think that we have something like that on a Sergio Garcia, and I think it would be irresponsible for me uh, to character assassinate him in that way by labeling him a racist. I think that's wrong. But, the statement itself was racist. And, you know, and, and, and it's and there's several reasons that you can point to. Number one, he certainly didn't mean anything complimentary towards Tiger. Their history in terms of the contentious relationship that they have with one another is well documented. And I think what's alarming, what's incredibly alarming is that somebody uh, like Sergio Garcia clearly knew that a statement like this was offensive. And obviously that's why he uttered it, because he was talking about Tiger and he didn't mean it complimentary. And for those of those, uh, the, 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 Skip, allow me to say this, because there are some people out there that may not understand what something like this, uh, what something like this derives from in terms of its sensitivity. So I want to make sure, because I actually wrote some stuff down, just to make sure that I'm clear that people need to understand it. When you talk about the fried chicken references, the fried chicken dishes, it was popular in slave homes. From southern, from southern plantations. That's where it's derived from. You're talking about, in many cases, chickens were the only livestock animals that slaves were permitted to raise on their own. And you got to remember, the Scots had founded the American South, and you know their imported tradition was, was basically frying a, a, a chicken. And so that's where it was derived from to some degree. So it has a, it, it has a symbolic attachment to it, rife with oppression and slavery. And that's why black folks would find it offensive that anybody outside of their community would utter such a things because they're measuring the intent. Like you have some knowledge, you may not know the historical perspective, but you still have some knowledge that this is incredibly offensive. And as a result of that, for you to articulate and elocute that towards somebody who happens to be black, the intent is clear. And when you take everything that I just said into account and you combine that with the fact that Tiger Woods is the individual that Sergio Garcia was talking about, clearly he meant to offend Tiger Woods, which means he knew it was offensive, which means he was insensitive about it. Now, does that make him a racist? No, I'm not going there. I don't know him well enough to captain the character assassinate him on that level. But I do know he didn't mean it as a compliment. He meant it to offend Tiger Woods. And as a result of that, I'm not I'm not buying his apology. I don't think it's sincere. The man made 40. He's made 43 million dollars in his career. He's made 16.2 million dollars last year in endorsements alone for tailor-made Adidas and shoes and apparel and stuff like that. Yep. He understands that this kind of stuff can cost them money. Exactly. That's what the apology is for. Exactly. I don't think it's sincere. Absolutely. Extremely well said, Stephen A. Smith. I like the context you put it in. Clearly, 
blatantly this was a racist reference, an offensive remark. Can we leap to that conclusion that you dealt with, that, that this man has racism in his heart? I, I have no idea. I don't know Sergio that well. I've been around him a lot of golf tournaments. I don't know what he's really like. I don't know what is in a man's or a woman's heart. But in this case, I do know that Sergio, as we've talked about several times on the show, is very bitter toward Tiger. He's very jealous of Tiger. He wanted to be Tiger. At 19, he was El Nino, exploding onto the scene at the 99 PGA at Medina. And by golly, he was going to take Tiger down. I told you, pointed at him on Saturday across the water at 17. I'm coming for you, pal. And he's still coming for him because he's never beaten him in a major championship because he never won a major championship. Here's the point, Stephen A. Sergio has loved this long-distance spat with Tiger because for the first time in these many years, he's actually belonged in the same sentence with Tiger Woods. To me, for all the wrong reasons. But, but again, he's finally relevant. He, he's finally getting Tiger-like attention just because of the spat. So he was eating it up. It's like he's doing a traveling one-man road show. Mm -hmm. What's he going to say next about Tiger? How's he going to rip him next time? He's not a nice guy. He's this. He's not this. He's this. And, and he's reaching. He's trying to reach farther and farther. So let's put this in context. Last night, I guess it was last night, yeah, he, he was at a European tour dinner, an award ceremony in London. And it was, you know, how that the atmosphere is like that, that sort of roast atmosphere. So he was asked by a reporter a very sarcastic, facetious question. Are you going to have dinner with Tiger at the, the upcoming U.S. Open? And he tried to, to deliver a joke response, quote-unquote joke response. That's what I'm reading into it. And he said what he said about fried chicken. And it was blatantly racist, and, and I assume he either didn't know about it or he knew about it soon enough because then he went on his apology spree as, as you said, Kerry agreed, he's got to not only save face, he's got to save all those endorsements. That's so, yeah, that's, that's what it feels like to us, from again, from a distance. So is he racist in his heart? I don't know. Did, did he really put his foot in his mouth trying to reach farther and farther to rip Tiger Woods? Yes, he did. I, I, all I know, Stephen A., is he is really bitter toward this man. And you remember, he, he reached back for the kind of reference, do you remember the Fuzzy Zeller reference? Yes. Following Tiger's breakthrough at the Masters in 97? Now that was straight from the heart, in my opinion. Fuzzy Zeller was making a racist reference, not as a joke, he, I, I, that was just flat out trying to put it in that, that context of, yeah, at his champion's dinner, let him have this, I forget how he said it, let him have his fried chicken. Uh, allow, uh, allow me to add to that by saying this, guys. You know, I was told because I did not see Sergio Garcia's press conference. I was en route to studio here to make sure I made it for the show. And, and I hear that, uh, you know, the, the sport of golf, essentially, uh, the PGA basically has said, hey, you know what? He's apologized. Let's move beyond it. Uh, listen, I'm not advocating that this man loses lo is no longer is on the tour I'm not advocating that he loses endorsements or anything like that. That's for somebody else's decision to make. We all make mistakes, and he clearly made one and was quick to acknowledge it. But when the sport of golf stands up so quickly to try to move beyond it, sometimes they need to recognize there's a cause to pause. Sometimes they need to recognize let's be stagnant for a second and stand still because of how this could reflect upon us if we act too quickly. You want to dismiss it. Well, what's yeah. the problem? By and large, with a lot of people, when it comes to the sport of golf, we recognize and appreciate golf or uh, Tiger Woods' greatness. All right? We wanted to claim him as one of our own, and that's a different subject for another day. But the reality is, is that it attaches itself to the notion that, by and large, you had African Americans that did not feel, or black folks altogether, that never felt welcome by the sport of golf. You look at a statement like this and you see the sport. So, you know, so, uh, going about the business of trying to expeditiously remove itself from the situation or actually move beyond the situation, what happens is you start questioning what kind of environment was this dude in 
where he felt comfortable enough to, to even yeah. think that he could sure. say such a thing. That Fuzzy Zella could even think that he could say such a thing. It's the kind of thing that folks like myself and others who share my pigmentation and my culture step back and say, is that what's going on? This is why you have people jumping to the defense of Tiger Woods or looking to protect sure. him or looking to, to, to shield him from some of the shrapnel of criticism, even the kind that he clearly brought on himself, because we are sensitive to the fact that clearly he is dealing in an environment that some of us can only imagine and other, others of us are more than too familiar with. This Stephen is the a. kind of stuff that we're alluding to, and Sergio Garcia just highlights it. Stephen a., you made a reference, and I agreed with you earlier, that the apology could have been linked to endorsements. Moments ago, something just came across the wires from TaylorMade Adidas. They said that they actually have spoken with Sergio Garcia. They believe that he is truly sorry and that they are actually going to review this matter further. Not suggesting that they're going to drop him, but what you said was pretty right on. You issued this apology because you're concerned about other issues, your money, endorsements, how this looks in the community. And so right away, Taylor Made has already issued this statement. Yeah, right. Stephen A., would you, would you, you like, age, would you like age, other you action to be taken? No. You know what, Skip? Here's the problem. I'm going to say this, and this is going to shock a lot of people. If you apologize, then we move forward. Don't duplicate it. Don't repeat it. You're, you, you know what's in your heart and yeah. soul, and that's that. Because last time I checked, black folks make mistakes, too. You know what I'm saying? Everyone I mean, it was, mistakes. sometimes we say the wrong things. Everybody makes mistakes, you know? And so I don't want to be one of those guys that's advocating for somebody to lose, you know, their income compromise their quality of life because they made mistakes. Now, if we see repeat performances, yeah, obviously sure. he will be dealt with. But if something like this never happened before, I still don't believe him. And I don't believe he's sincere with Tiger, which is something we'll get into later. But do I think that as long as he apologizes and don't repeat what he said again, do I believe that he should lose his endorsements and stuff? No, not at all. Yeah. Uh, let's leave it People there. People make mistakes. Let's hope they leave it there. The players was two weeks ago, so hopefully we all are moving on. Uh, coming up next.